welcome back to my channel for today's video we have my shop my stash skincare drawer how this video works is first of all i'll be going over the items you see in front of you which is the skincare that i've been using for the past month then i will bring over my entire skincare collection and go through and make some selections for the month going forward don't forget that i do still have a giveaway ongoing on my channel i will have the video containing that giveaway linked in the description box below be sure to check that out so as usual going through the month's items that i've been using i will start first of all with the empties and i do have again quite a lot this month i definitely seem to be on a roll for the past few months in getting items finished up which does make me really happy so i'll start first of all with this one on top this is from the brand suku i think it is and this is the moisturizing hydro lotion this is a really nice product it's one that I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it so I was applying it between a serum and a moisturiser because it is quite a runny consistency I was kind of treating it as like an essence type product and it was really nice and it was definitely hydrating I did look into possibly purchasing a full size of this one but it is a rather pricey product and because it is a product that I've kind of created a step for I don't feel like I desperately need it in my routine there are other hydrating products that I can use in its place but whilst I had it, it was really nice to use and I definitely did enjoy it then I finished up this cleanser from Ulla Henriksen this is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser this was only 7ml of product and I think I got about 4 uses out of this and it is a really nice cleanser it does have the same scent as all their other products from this line it does smell like orange but it's not too overpowering out of all the products that I've tried, I think the Truth Serum is the one with the strongest scent, but this one is very similar to the Gel Moisturiser, it's just a nice orangey scent. This was a really effective cleanser, my skin did feel really nice afterwards and I don't feel like it stripped my skin at all. I do usually go for a more kind of drugstore priced cleanser than this one because I think this is probably 20 something pounds. So I don't know if I love it enough to purchase it for that price, but it is one that should I feel like treating myself to a nice cleanser in the future that I would definitely pick this one up. Then I finished this serum from Boots. This is the Pineapple Serum and I absolutely love this product. This is a product that I have already gone on to purchase a backup of, so I'm glad that I do have another one there. I think one of the main reasons why I love this product is because of its smell. It does smell exactly like pineapple, so it's really nice and refreshing to apply. The serum itself is really nice and lightweight and it does blend into the skin really quickly and it does give it that bit of a glow and it does make it just look a little bit healthier. This product is actually only £5 and I can see me repurchasing this time and time again in the future because I do love it. Then I finished this cleansing balm from Vanillaco. This is the Clean It Zero cleansing balm. If you did see my recent favourites video and also my haul at the end of the month, you will know that I have finished this product up and I have already gone on to purchase another full size. This has definitely converted me to liking cleansing balms. I've tried quite a few in the past and just couldn't really get on board with them but this one has definitely changed my mind it's not greasy it's really effective at removing makeup and it does literally make your makeup melt away so i do love this one and it's not too expensive considering the size of the tub that i've got i am officially now converted to liking cleansing balms because of this one and i finished off these elf mouth off lipstick remover pads i say finished off i did get about halfway through this and when i went to reach my next one they had fully dried out I did always make sure that I did screw the lid back down very tightly, but obviously not one time. I'm so sad to let go of these lipstick remover pads because these were fantastic. Being e.l.f. they were so affordable, they were really effective at removing any lipstick. Even the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, which are notoriously difficult to remove. I have purchased a very similar kind of product from Beauty Bakery, which I'm hoping is a good replacement for this, even though they are kind of like three or four times the price. But I really love reaching for these and effectively removing makeup without having to scrub up my lips. So yeah, really sad to see these go and I wish they hadn't discontinued them. Then I finished this moisturiser from Estee Lauder. This is the Revitalising Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. This was something that I believe I got in a Feel Unique Beauty Kit. If I'm honest, I just added it to my basket because it did look quite bougie. This is a very nice moisturiser and I've made sure that I've got every last drop out of there it is a very luxurious feeling moisturizer without being heavy it still somehow manages to feel luxurious as well as kind of lightweight so i did really enjoy that about it 
and it was a really nice consistency it blended into the skin really nicely and I feel like it was great to kind of lock everything in place that I'd applied underneath it. I feel like this did a little bit of everything to my skin. I feel like it hydrated, it plumped, it refreshed and it just generally made my skin look a lot better. I finished this one up about 10 days ago and I have noticed the difference not using this on my skin. This is £70 to purchase the full size of and I have gone and added it to my basket on Feel Unique but I'm not quite able yet to press that checkout button. So this is one that I would love to purchase a full size of. I just don't know if I can justify the cost of it at this moment. The next thing I finished up was this serum from Neod. This is the Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Complex Serum. This was a really nice, very lightweight moisturising serum. It had an almost watery like consistency to it, but that kind of meant that you didn't need very much of this product at all. It did leave my skin feeling really nice and moisturised. It worked very well with others. I do believe that Neod is the kind of more expensive sister brand of The Ordinary. I don't know if I love this any more than the Hyaluronic Acid Serum that I had tried from The Ordinary. And this is probably three times the cost. So I don't think this is one that I would repurchase, but it was really nice to use it while I had it. I also finished this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Evolve Organic Beauty. Kind of like the one from Neod. It was really nice and it did leave my skin feeling nice and moisturised. Whilst I don't believe that this is too expensive of a brand, I think it still might be slightly more pricey than The Ordinary and I didn't love this one any more than the one from The Ordinary so I would again stick to that one and not repurchase this one but it was nice to try. Then I finished this serum from Paula's Choice. This is the Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. This was quite a nice serum to use but I didn't absolutely love it. It was quite heavy on the skin and it did have an almost oil-like consistency to it. It did leave my skin feeling really nice and soft, but I just didn't like the application process. And I say because it was quite kind of greasy and oily, I felt like I had to go and wash my hands afterwards before going into the next step. Normally when I apply an actual oil on my skin as the last step of my routine, I will just kind of rub the product in on the back of my hands and, and that's fine. Whereas this one, I felt like I had to wash my hands because it was quite heavy. So yeah, I didn't love this one, but it was okay. So that is all the products that I finished up in March and that's actually nine products, which I was really impressed by. And this now looks a little bit empty. I do have another couple of products in here actually that I'm just going to be decluttering from my collection because I wasn't loving reaching for them and I have enough of a skincare collection that I don't need to keep things around that I don't absolutely love. The first couple are lip products. We have this Barry M Lip Rehab Nourishing Lip Mask and then this lip balm from Givenchy. This is in a super hot pink shade and whilst it's an okay lip balm, I don't feel like it's very nourishing at all and um, because of the bright pink colour it's not something that I would wear in the day and then overnight I have had a couple of times where it's transferred onto my pillow so I just don't enjoy reaching for it and was kind of reaching for it for the sake of it so I'm going to declutter this one and then the other one I'm going to declutter is this one from Barry M. This is actually a rose scented lip mask which I already wasn't very keen on because I don't love rose scented products. I found that I could handle this one best if I applied it on top of the Givenchy lip balm because I could kind of taste the rose less but I could still smell it slightly. I found after using this product for the month that my lips have been the driest that they've been in a long time and we haven't even really had cold weather here, we've had quite nice weather and the dryness that my lips have had has kind of been what I tend to get in January when it's quite cold so I can only put it down to the fact that this product has actually been kind of drying my lips out so for that reason I don't want to risk keeping it around in my collection if it is this product that's doing it and it only cost me a few pounds anyway so I'm not going to declutter this one too. So I think that is everything that is going to be leaving my collection although I do have this eye cream here from Boots that I don't love but it's not bad so I'm not too sure whether to declutter this one or not. I might actually put this one forward to next month and kind of give it one last chance. It's not terrible by any means but I just don't feel like it does an awful lot. This one's kind of on the chopping block but I want to get it out of my collection sooner rather than later so rather than putting it back into circulation I'll just stick it straight into next month's pot. So now I'll just run through the rest of the items left in here. First one is this micellar water from Polar. This is the Ice Pure Micellar Water and as you can see I don't actually have an awful lot left in here. 
this was a really nice micellar water it was really gentle and also pretty effective at removing makeup when I did finish up the cleansing balm I did end up having to use this to kind of remove a full face of makeup and it was pretty effective at that without feeling like I was dragging my skin too much so I did quite enjoy this one I have noticed that this is actually one of the products that I could possibly pick from the latest in beauty subscription box and I think it's just this size bottle again which I've only had this in here for the month so it doesn't last the longest amount of time but if I'm struggling for picking a couple of products like I have been in the past couple of months I might just add another one of these to the basket and it, to be honest because there's really not much left in there at all I probably could get that used up within a week or so I might transfer this over to next month as well Then I was using this serum from The Ordinary this is the Buffet Multi Technology Peptide Serum this is a really nice serum and the term I think Buffet comes from the fact that it is supposed to do a little bit of everything and I do definitely agree that it does. It does do a bit of pumping, a bit of moisturising, a bit of brightening and things like that. So I do really like this serum and I think it's a good one to kind of have as a staple to reach for in my skincare collection. As usual, I have just knocked my camera so completely lost my train of thought but I think I'd finished talking about the Buffet serum other than to say it's a really nice product. Next, I was using this one from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes and Lips. This is one of my go-to eye makeup removers. I do really love this product. It is so effective at removing eye makeup, even pressed glitters, and it doesn't leave my eyelids feeling dry at all. Be because of this being one of those dual products, I feel like it does leave a nice oily residue on my lids so they don't feel dried out. And I do absolutely love reaching for this one, and I think it's one I'm probably gonna have to purchase a backup of sometime soon. Then I had this facial oil in from Bye Bye Beauty. This is the Strawberry Booster and this is a oil that is supposed to moisturise and soften your skin. I had had one of these in the past which I think was the CBD one but I didn't really enjoy that one at all. It's definitely not one of my favourites but I did quite enjoy reaching for it throughout the course of the month. Because of this being called the Strawberry Booster I was hoping that it would smell like strawberry but this doesn't have any scent to it at all. I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't like the CBD one because it had one of those really natural sort of herby type scents as I say but this one just doesn't smell of anything at all so I, I appreciate that it didn't smell like the CBD one. It does leave my skin feeling nice and moisturised and it is a nice product to use as a last step in my routine. You don't need too much of this product at all and it doesn't sit too heavy on the skin. It's not my most favourite oil I've ever tried, but it is one that I will happily use the rest up of. Another product I had in here from Bye Bye Beauty is this Night Nutrition Protein Night Cream. This is another product that it's nice enough to use, but I don't absolutely love. The first time I had this in here, I didn't enjoy it at all. And I think the scent of it was one of the factors why I didn't really like it. But I think now I'm kind of used to the scent, so I don't mind it as much. It's a nice enough moisturiser. It is ever so slightly greasy. It does leave my skin feeling really nourished and moisturised. And it is a product that I keep saying that if I don't love it, I am going to get rid of it because it is quite bulky and heavy packaging. But because it wasn't cheap, I think it was about 25 to 30 pounds. I think that's why I'm struggling to part with it because it's not terrible. So I think I'm just gonna have to force myself to use it more to get a bit more of my money's worth out of it before I get rid of it, if that makes sense. I don't think this is a product that I'm going to see through to emptying, but I just feel like I want to use it a little bit more. Then I had this eye cream in from Good Molecules. This is the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. I really enjoyed this eye cream and it's definitely one of my favourite ones that I've tried as of late. It's a really nice lightweight consistency and you don't need much of this product at all. The only slight problem I had is because of this type of packaging, when you open it up, it already has kind of squeezed a lot of products out to the top. So I do feel like I waste a little bit of this product. But other than that, I do really like how it feels. It blends into the under eyes so quickly and it does have a brightening aspect to it as well. And this one has definitely helped with my dark under eye circles that I've had in the past month. I think this is only about $6, so it's a product that I would definitely consider purchasing again once I've used this one up but I feel like this is going to last me a long time. But if you are looking for an affordable eye cream and you can get hold of good molecules, I would definitely recommend this one. Another eye product I had in here is this one from number seven. This is the Dark Circle Corrector. This is definitely one of my favourite products from number seven. I do really like the effect this has on the under eyes. If I'm honest though, this one did get slightly neglected because I kept reaching for the one from good molecules. I actually ended up reaching for this one more of a day because it does have a bit of a tint to it 
so it is really good in place of a kind of concealer because it is just a really nice lightweight it's kind of like a eye cream in a concealer sort of product so it was perfect for the school run when I didn't have necessarily time to apply skincare and makeup I could just stick this on my under eyes and it would brighten them up slightly and cover the dark under eye circles so this one I definitely reach for more in the day than the night another number seven product I had in here is their night cream this is from the protect and perfect intense advance line and I did really enjoy this I have tried the day cream from this line and I enjoyed that as well and to be honest they do seem like very similar products I don't know what is different between the products in the day cream and the night cream because they do apply very similarly and I also feel like I get similar results with them as well because of this being a kind of sample that I did get as part of an advent calendar it doesn't have the full list of ingredients on but I would actually be quite intrigued to compare the two to see if they basically are the same product I've just labeled them differently I don't think I love reaching for it overnight as much as as a day I don't know if it's to do with the scent because it is a quite fresh kind of summery scent to me and I feel like it's nicer in the day it might be a little bit too heavy for the night so I think I prefer it as a day cream than a night cream but it is still nice and it's definitely one that I do enjoy reaching for then I had this water sleeping mask in from Laneige and this is the lavender one I have tried the original kind of unscented one before and I did really enjoy it when I seen I could get a lavender one, I thought I would give it a go because I thought it might kind of help with my sleep with the lavender scent, but this to me does not smell of lavender at all. So I didn't love this product at all. You could still smell it when it was on your skin and I say I wasn't a fan of the smell, it just doesn't smell the best. So I think this is a product that I will use because it, it, there's not that much product in here and I do like the actual mask itself, the consistency and the formula and things, it's just the scent that puts me off. So this would probably be something that if I was to put it back in here, I would most likely pair it with the Moroccan oil facial oil because that has a really nice scent and I would be applying that after this so it would kind of disguise the scent of that. So yeah, I didn't love this one. Then I had this moisturiser from e.l.f. This is the Super Hydrate Jelly Moisturiser. And this is definitely very, very jelly-like, if you can see that there. I'm not a huge fan of this product at all. I don't really like the consistency of it. I do love gel moisturisers, but this one leans too much on the jelly side because I feel like when you are getting the product out, it kind of comes out in chunks. And then as you can see, then it does kind of settle back. But when you are trying to get the product out, it's a bit, yeah, it's not the the best consistency once it's rubbed into the skin it is quite nice and it is definitely hydrating but I always feel like I get too much product out and I don't feel like it's doing a massive amount of hydrating considering that's its main claim it is just a light moisturizer so I will probably use the rest of this one up but I don't love it and I definitely wouldn't repurchase it and I had in as toner this one from Pixie this is the retinol tonic I do really like this product and this was actually my only toner that I had in here this month so I did use it every day. The past few times I've had this one in here I have alternated between this one and a more lightweight one but I feel like my skin has got a bit better with retinol now so I was able to use this every day and it didn't disagree with my skin at all and it did definitely give me a more kind of refreshed look so I do really enjoy this and looking forward to using it some more. Then I had this moisturiser in from CeraVe. This is just a moisturising cream for dry skin. I put this one in here because this one has definitely been neglected in my collection. I said when I put it in here that it's kind of a, a boring moisturiser because it's just a kind of no frills moisturiser. It is just very moisturising. I would say that I did reach for this one more at the beginning of the month than the end. But I did definitely use it, which was definitely my goal. So I am glad that I have used it a little bit more. And it's another product that is kind of good to have as a staple in my skincare collection. The last couple of products are from the Inky List. The first one is this Collagen Booster Serum. I'm not a massive fan of this serum. It's a little bit too watery and a bit too thin. And I just don't feel like it does anything at all. I also don't really love this kind of packaging because too much of this product comes out, especially with it being really watery. And it does take a little while to soak into the skin, even though it is quite lightweight. I don't notice any plumping or anything like that with this one and I have used this quite consistently throughout the month so this isn't one I would repurchase. Is this succinic acid blemish treatment. 
this product is amazing and I have found that this has replaced my go-to spot treatment from Boots. This one is so much better. The one that I had from Boots was really good when a blemish was already quite angry and it would kind of make it shrink a little bit. But this one I feel like it's definitely multi-use. I can put this one on under the skin blemishes and they don't seem to surface. I can put it on ones that are about to surface and it kind of brings them out but then makes them go away quicker. And then I can put it on blemishes that are already out and it just dries them out and they go away a lot quicker. So this one has definitely been a saviour in March, especially because I've been going back on the school run and wearing a mask more than I have been in the past. I'm definitely noticing I'm getting more maskne and this one has just been great to have on hand. And I think this is one I'm probably going to put forward to April because I feel like I just always need to have this one on hand. And I'm so glad that it is an affordable product and now that I've found a better replacement for the one from Boots that I loved. So that is now my basket empty. So I will just quickly tidy these bits up, pull over my entire skincare and go through and make some selections for the month going forward. So this is my entire skincare collection. I've zoomed out as kind of best I can to try and fit everything in shot. Just in case you haven't seen these videos before, the products in this basket here are all open skincare. These are obviously the ones that have come from March's box. And then everything in this box here is unopened and new skincare to try. I do try and take as much kind of things as I can from here. But then I do allow myself a couple of new skincare items each month. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the beginning of my skincare routine and start again with makeup removal. So I did say I want to put back in this micellar water from Polar because there's not too much left. And then I will also stick in this one from Nivea because again, not too much left, but hopefully both of those will last me the month. Then I do always tend to have an eye makeup remover in here. I am tempted to stick back in the one from Ofra, but the pump on this one has broken, so I can't really use it properly. And I do have to kind of tip it out, which isn't the best because it doesn't fully mix the products. So I don't know whether to just stick the one from Clinique back in because I know that one works fine for me. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll put that one to the side and I will stick the one from Clinique back in. And then I think I kind of want to stick in the cleansing balm because when the little pot that I had did run out and I was having to remove a full face of makeup with just micellar water, I didn't enjoy it. So I think I might just stick this one in because I know I'm going to get full use out of it, even though it is the newest skincare item in my collection. But it should last me a decent amount of time because of the size of the tub. I don't really know whether I'm going to make much use of the spatula, but I'll stick that in as well. So that has already quite filled the basket up. Next, I'll go in with toner. And I think I do have a couple open. So I think I'd rather use some I have open than rather than opening a new one. So I believe these three plus the one I was using last month are the three toners that I have open. I'm not really feeling this one at the moment. So it's kind of between these two. I think I'll stick this one in from Galani because when I had this in here last time I can't I think I was trying to finish a toner up so I didn't end up reaching for it a lot so I'll give this one a go then I need serums not too sure what I'm feeling this month to be honest I've got quite a few serums to try I've got a few from good molecules that I do kind of want to try but because I have been finishing products up I'm also kind of on a kick of wanting to finish more products up I think I'll stick this one in from the inky list. This is the Q10 serum because I don't think there's too much left in here so I might be able to get this one finished up. I've just found this other toner that I have as well but I know if I stick it in because I do like this one I probably won't reach for that one for Galani so I think I'll just leave that one in for now. So this is a serum but this was part of that kind of full skincare regime that I had but I didn't give this a full try so Maybe I'll stick these in because it's supposed to only be one week's worth of product so I could quite easily get all three of these finished if I use them for a week consistently and then that'd be three more products finished up and I won't feel as guilty if I take more from that box there. So yeah, I'll stick these in. So this is a multi-correction cream, a multi-correction night mask and then a multi-correction serum. And then I'm just going to go through here and pull out any other serums that I have. So I think I just have these four. So we have the Truth Serum from Ulla Henriksen, the Line Booster Serum from number seven, the Mermaid Skin Serum from Tarte, and the Hydro Boost Serum from Neutrogena. I'm not feeling this one this month, so that just leaves it down to these three. I 
kind of want to stick this one back in because I do feel like I've noticed my lines going a little bit deeper again and I didn't have this one in for a whole month which was kind of the reason for my experiment of leaving it out for a month so I, I feel like this is a product that I probably could do it that way alternate it and just do it a month at a time because I feel like the forehead wrinkles have gone slightly deeper but no worse than they were so I think I can probably just keep alternating it especially because it is such an expensive product so I'm going to stick that in and then I think I will stick one of these in and then I might try a new one I probably could easily use up the mermaid skin in a month I reckon because I do quite like reaching for that one and that is a moisturizing one but then I do kind of want to use the Ulla Henriksen one I could stick both in but I do want to also try a new one and I've already got two serums in there plus the line booster so that might be a little bit too much I'm going to go for the truth serum because I did enjoy the kind of orangey scent of the cleanser from last month so yeah I'm going to stick that one in now I'm going to delve into here and pick out a, another serum to try and I am leaning towards trying one from Good Molecules especially because I had such good luck with that eye cream actually just while I've spotted them I'm going to stick in the Beauty Bakery lipstick removers because I did enjoy having the ones from e.l.f. in so I think I want to give these ones a go really nice packaging so hopefully these work as effectively as the ones from e.l.f. these are the lip whip remover wipes I've just found this cleansing balm from Clinique so I think I'm actually going to stick this one in instead of the Clean It Zero one because I do want to give this one a try plus the Clean It Zero one is taking up like half of the basket and I keep forgetting I have this one so I'm going to swap around I've just realised that I haven't put a face wash in here so I'm going to stick this one in from Crabtree and Evelyn it does say it's rose soft touch face foam so I'm not holding up much hopes for it but I do need to give it a try so I found these two products from Good Molecules I did feel like I had another one but obviously not so I think I might stick both of these in because I do believe the serums that I've put in so far are all kind of anti-aging so this is hyaluronic acid which is moisturizing and squalene oil is also moisturizing as well so that covers my oil step so I'll stick both of these in I'll just take them out of the packaging so that is how that one comes and then this is how the squalene oil comes so I think that's all that I need for serums I do believe I've got everything there there are a couple of things that I'm just going to move out the way here so actually first of all here's the boots spot clear treatments I was talking about so I'm going to declutter this one from my collection because I don't need it no more now that I have the one from the inky list which I need to stick in so I'll do close to this one and then I'm going to stick this eye cream in before I forget I think I do need to stick in another eye cream just in case I don't want to reach for that one and I don't know whether to maybe try a new one or possibly just stick in what I've got open because I think if I try a new one and I enjoy it I'll end up not reaching for that one from Boots so I do have a couple of choices here I think these are the main two that I've got open I think I will stick the one from Ulla Henriksen in since I'm using the Truth Serum and then I want to stick in a lip mask of some sort I don't think I want to use one of the ones that I've got open which I think is just basically these two one from Physicians Formula and one from Q&A I didn't love these ones so I feel like because I didn't love one last month I want to possibly try a new one so a couple of choices I have is this one from number seven this is the protect and perfect lip care and then I have this one from milk makeup which is the melatonin overnight lip mask and I'm really torn as to which one to try so I might actually stick both in because I do really want to try both of them so yeah I'm gonna stick them both in let's take this one out of the box so that is the one from milk makeup so yeah I'll stick those two in and then I think I'm on to the final step now of moisturizers I think I did stick too many moisturizers in last month so I don't want to put as many in I do have that little one in from is it Falorga I think it was and I think I might put this one in from Falorga actually again this is the NCTF reverse which I think is from the same kind of line as the ones in there so it might be best keeping the same sort of products in I think I'll stick that in and then 
I think I'm going to stick this one in from Nivea. This is the Q10 Power Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream because I've got a Q10 serum in there. So that might be quite nice to pair them together. And it's only little. So I might stick one more in, but I really don't know whether to open a new one or go for an existing one. Because I do have a lot of moisturisers in this basket here. First kind of four of many that I've pulled out are these ones. There's this one from Naobay, this one from Killig, and then two from Elf. I think I want to try the Holy Hydration Cream because this product is so hyped up, but I've never actually tried it. I do have the fragrance free version. And I think all the other moisturisers that I have are kind of anti-wrinkle, anti-aging type products. So I could probably do with one that is just solely for hydration. So that is how that product comes. That is a pretty decent sized tub. I'm going to stick that in and I know my basket looks really overflowing, but I do have possibly a couple more products I want to stick in. I do want to try and put a product in between serum and moisturiser just because I don't have many hydrating products. So I kind of have these three that are quite moisturising. This is a light oil serum from Inuok. This is the Papaya Face Milk from 4-3 Beauty. And this is one from The Ordinary, which it does say, even though it's like a thick moisturiser, it's to go between serums and moisturisers. And it's covered in some sort of product. I think I'm going to go with the face milk because I do really like reaching for this one. So I think that covers everything. So I'm just going to quickly tidy everything up and then I will lay it all out to make sure that I do have everything covered. Okay, so this is everything that I intend to use for the month going forward. So I'll just go through it as I put it into the basket. So we have a cleanser, a makeup removing balm, some micellar waters, an eye makeup remover, a lipstick remover, a spot treatment, a toner or face vinegar, a couple of eye creams, a couple of lip products, a lime booster serum, some serums, a kind of complete skincare regime, a papaya face milk, then a Q10 moisturiser, a anti-aging moisturiser and a hydrating moisturiser, then finally a squalane oil. So that is everything I'm going to be using going forward for the next month. I do believe I've got all my bases covered there. I'm not as confident this month that I'm going to get a lot of products finished up, but I did get loads finished up in March so I don't feel too bad. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.